Hello, my name is Paul Reed. I am the author of The Art Teacher and the Forthcoming Blame, um, both novels published by Legend Press. Um, I thought I would speak to you today briefly about something which gets quite a lot of attention and is sometimes misunderstood um, and also doesn't even really exist, and that is writer's block. Um, far more important writers than myself have struggled with this over the years, but I thought I'd just try and tell you how I deal with this when it strikes. Um, I mean, what what writer's block essentially is, is, um, is either a lack of ideas or a lack of motivation, obviously. So it's something you have to force sometimes, which is perfectly normal. You have to set your alarm uh, in the morning to force yourself out of bed to go to the day job on a cold winter's day. I mean, it's, it's, it's perfectly normal. So where do you find inspiration? Where do you find those ideas? I mean, ideas are everywhere. They must be because, you know, bookshops aren't empty. Um, I mean, where do you find them from? I'll be honest, I don't know, but I can tell you where I try to sort of dig for inspiration. And that's generally speaking in my real life. Um, and what I would, what I would do is I would take elements from that and I would sort of sprinkle them with some fiction. So the art teacher, um, was, was born out of my own experience, I suppose, in, in teaching. And as was, as was Blaine, was, I, I took some elements of my childhood and highly, highly fictionalised them. Um, but sometimes I find with myself that the desire to write is stronger than the material I have. And, and so what I try to do um, is, is I tell myself I'm not a writer, I'm a storyteller. And I ask myself the, the what if question. So once I found the character, for instance, of, of Patrick Owen in, in The Art Teacher, I asked myself, what if he actually, you know, depressed and um, rejected and just, you know, um, at a, hounded? What, what would happen if he actually punched a pupil? Where would the consequences from that take him? Um, and something else I will do is I, I will just read. Um, lots of the lots of books around the writing of blame randomly involve children as the main characters. And once I found my characters, I asked myself, what, what if um, the, the secrets of the past that they were carrying with them could help sort of solve the mysteries of the future? Um, and that was basically, that was basically just asking myself the what if question, looking at where those consequences would be. And then slowly, because it is slow, you you end up with you end up with ideas for novels, and in retrospect, it all seems very organic. But at the time, um, it's it, it, it's pretty desperate to be honest. So I think I think my three basic tips would be, and there's nothing new here. Sorry, nothing original. It's read, read, and read because I think, and I might be wrong. If if you if you weren't one of those children who, um, when you were told to go to bed if you weren't under the covers with a torch and a book, and if you weren't waking up with that book falling on your face, I kind of think it's probably not in you, to be honest, but you can force it. And the best way to do that is, is to just read. You know, The advice that people are often told is to write through it, but I disagree. I think you just need to read through it. Step away from the work um, for as long as you need. Don't feel guilty about it. You know, Reading is the same discipline as writing, and we go on holiday You know, when we're when we're worn out and we've had enough of work for you know and i think you can take a holiday from writing you need to let the desire to write build again um and that's what i do i, I think having a word count frankly is quite dangerous like, because if you don't hit your 2000 words or your 500 words or whatever um you're going to feel bad about it so um deadlines can be very useful but i think a blank page never is so Read, read your way through it if you're if you're stuck, um, and let let the desire to write return. When you come back to it, you'll know what it needs. It might be thrown away, but you know that's happened to me a couple of times. But you you will know what it, what it needs. Writer's block in itself doesn't actually exist, so I'm afraid there probably isn't really a cure for it. Um, if this has been remotely helpful to you, um, click like. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much.